hi welcome to my first (um) ever C_T_F walkthrough so this is C_T_F that participated in this Neverland C_T_F and I will start with (um) walking through some of the web challenges first so the first challenge that we see here is a cookie monster so we we'll just copy this over so as the name suggests um, cookie monster implies that there's some cookie so here we are on the first page we see he's my favorite red guy who can he be? So maybe let us go and analyze the cookies first. Oh, so we see red guy's name, name goes here. Yeah, so uh, probably this is a cookie manipulation question. So who's the favorite red guy you can think of? So yeah, we can just do a quick Google search. You know, cookie monster. Oh, obviously the red, favorite red guy is Elmo. So let's temper this and change this to Elmo and we refresh. Refresh the page. Oh, the flag comes up. So this is your first flag for Cookie Monster. Okay, now let's do the second one. This is the first flag we have found. Okay, so let's go to react to this. So for this, um, not too sure what is it about. And we can consider tempering with the some of the values also. So drop down, nothing much. Maybe yeah, we don't see much thing. So we can look through the elements. Actually, we can just view the source. Okay, we can also take a look at the cookies itself. Yeah, nothing here. Oh, we see an admin value here set to false. Maybe we should try changing it to true. Okay, and maybe refresh the page. Aha, uh -huh, admin page. Okay, here we got the cookie. And we got, I mean, we got the flag. So this is for react to this. Okay, we got the flag. Next one is dirty validation. So there's probably got something to do with input validation. Hmm, okay. So we see standard username password. Oh, we see script. I'm assuming they're doing some client side scripting. So you can see here they are doing some request so maybe we can just type some random stuff okay so that is incorrect so we can also go to the network to take a look oh we see the request being made here aha uh -huh. so the username is written to us because if you take a look at the script they actually get the username and compare okay so let's try maybe like um, Adam's family Okay, we try to change the password. Oh, we got a base 64 string. You can see the padding with the equals at the back. Okay, so let's just change this. Um, probably we can use something like Cyberchef, which is pretty good. Okay, so we put this here. We can uh, put from base 64. Oh, we are wrong. We need to try a different user. Okay. Um, so yeah so maybe let's say we just try doctor whom and let us try the password hmm. 
no tofu did I type it right [oh] I type it wrongly (mm) okay we got another base sixty four string [ah] [ha] now we got the flag ya so it's some input validation and it's being done on the client side which is a very bad thing you should always do input validation on the server side so let's just just take note of this flag so this is thirty validate this is the flag okay moving on to things are not always what they seem K can't see much here so as always you should always inspect the page (um) you can also load the sources [ah] [ha] we see the flag from just inspecting the page so this is things are not always what they seem we got the flag here okay (um) you can't see the flag because (uh) it was very nice and funny trick by the administrator they set the text to white in colour ya pretty nice trick there K now we have S_Q_L fun so it's just I think some basic S_Q_L K so my customer forgot his password his first name is jimmy can you get the password it should be in the users table this isn't an S_Q_L injection challenge it's just a S_Q_L query construction challenge I guess so you could select everything from you know the users table (um) first name is jimmy so ya where F name equal jimmy submit [ah] [ha] we got the flag as the password S_Q_L for the win copy paste this is S_Q_L fun one right S_Q_L fun one S_Q_L for the win okay (um) now we move on to S_Q_L fun two so a client forgot his password again but (uh) it's the user's account the last name is a different person [oh] and they have a new table called password so we need to do something along the lines of inner join inner join basically means to join two different tables together based on a unique value so let's say we just want to select everything again from so we'll select from the first table first the users users you know where (um) no we inner join first inner join password K I kind of forgot the query for this (uh) inner join ya so let me just do a quick check inner join this on K inner join table two so inner join password on table one dot colon name dot table two dot colon name okay so it's basically just users let's say we are guessing something like users dot I_D normally that's the case equals to password dot I_D and (uh) where the person's name is miller right so where L name equal miller okay we got the user I_D looks like base sixty four again let's try [oh] wrong user (hmm) K this is a bit confusing but the I_D doesn't seem to match if you look at it so not too sure what's going on there
we could probably just subtract one or something like that. Let's select all from users. Where? Ah, no, inner join first. Inner join. Password. Users dot ID equal password. I think it's a plus one because there's some mismatch in the value. So where uh, L name equal Miller. Let's just copy this first and let's submit. Hmm, we're still not getting it. This is weird. What if you don't specify the last name? Let's see if we can get any values. Ah. Yeah, so it doesn't really help. Last name. This user ID looks a bit more different than the rest so let's try to base 64 it again aha uh -huh. we got the flag so apparently this miller wasn't helping at all <laughs> sql fun 2 this is the flag yeah okay for console let us move to console Nothing much here, just a plain submit button. Okay, let's just inspect. Since they say it's console, you know, something to do with browser console. Okay, so let's take a look at the script. So, they take in your value and they compare with the, they, they hash it. You know, and if it matches, they will call the function get that and the parameter must be equals to y then they will print out the information okay right so maybe to bypass that let us try to call this function call get that get that okay and we pass in the value which you saw which was, which was y and we submit. Aha, uh -huh. the flag is here. So control console con controls JS. And that's for console. Right. Um okay, so now we are moving to dust block. Dust block is a probably a um, Let's take a look first. Yeah. So you log in. Can't find much items. There's no script or anything. Just a few simple HTML elements. Logging in also doesn't seem to contain any script, although they do post something. Let's try some values first. Let's say we saw Johnny earlier. Let me try to submit. Oh. some random password okay doesn't work uh, no no traffic was captured either not much seems like they're doing server-side validation let's check for any cookies hmm, nothing interesting no no okay yeah there is nothing so far okay so with the username let's say we want to conduct a injection attack So basically this, if you go and study the more theoretical part of SQL injection, this will basically force the um, this command to be true and then you comment out everything that is thereafter. So you log in. Oh, but it still doesn't work. 
this (um) I have yet to check with the administrators but it seems like hacks in this case works as for the reason why I'm not too sure okay so you're now logged in as johnny with permissions admin so you click here to go to the main page ya yeah, you have admin permissions and yeah we got a flag so this is dust block and lastly um, we have dust block 2 okay so since it's part 2 of dust block I suspect it's probably some manipulation question also of the SQL. So he still is escaping his input teaching lesson. Yeah, so let us try the same value we did just now first. Or oh, 1 equals 1 comment. Oh, we got it, but uh, permission user. Yeah, you have default permissions. That's not what we're looking for. Hmm. So maybe we could do something like or oh, one equals one. And maybe do a n permissions equal admin. And you comment it up. So what this ha happens here it's basically specifying that the person has to be an administrator too so let's hope this works so login aha permissions admin so we'll click here to go back to the main page yeah we got the flag for the last web challenge okay so here is the end of the neverland ctf 2019 web tutorial since this is my first time doing a uh, ctf walkthrough i hope it's been a great video and if there's anything y'all can leave your comments in the comment section thank you